In this video, we're going to be talking about the number two most important passing concept that you can have in your offense. I'm going to quickly go over the number one concept. We talked about it yesterday, and then we're going to go into the number two concept. Now, literally every pro Madden player has this concept in their offense, and you can have this concept in no matter what offense you're running. I guarantee you that there's a way to get this basic principle um, accomplished, and that is the sale concept, 94 out of the air raid. It's also known as Flood and Madden, and I'm going to show you how to do it out of trips tied in. Now, the number one concept is the shallow uh, cross or the slant, also known as the slant post. And we're going to show you literally all you're looking for for the um, for the flood or the sail concept is some type of deep corner or deep out route. Now, what's interesting about the Patriots playbook and spe specifically the trips tied in is they have this play flood, Pat's flood. I'm going to go over that in just a moment. But they also have this play PA slot corner, which is really, 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 really good. Now, the shallow cross concept we know can be done out of a lot of pretty much any play, really. Um, and I like to do it out of PA counter go. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to slant your inside trips receiver. You're going to flat your outside trips receiver. And then you're going to post your tight end. And so as you can see here, this is the slant post concept. Now, the slant post concept can also be ran in multiple different directions. So another variation of the slant post concept could be something like this, right? Now, what we have is our we're going to motion over this receiver on a streak, and then you have this deep post route to your slot receiver coming over the top. So if they guard the slant or the drag, then you're going to take your post. Now, I want to introduce you to the sail concept or the flood concept. This concept is super, super effective, um, specifically against zone coverage, right? Shallow cross is really designed to be really good against man coverage, and flood is designed to be really good against zone. Now, they beat both, but flood, a traditional flood concept, is really good uh, specifically against zone coverage. So the way that we're going to set this up is we're going to go ahead and audible over to PA slot corner. All you need is a corner route, okay? All you need is the corner route. If you have slot apprentice or hot route master, then you are going to be able um, you know, to set that up just like that. And then you need a streak of some type. And then really what you're looking for is some type of way to attack the left side flat. Now that can actually be in a variety of of different ways depending on you know kind of how you set your team up and really what formation you're running right uh, for trips tied in we could easily do something like this and create a flood concept another way we can create a flood concept is like this and then the way that I want to show you today is with motion we're actually going to turn this into a two by two set and what this does is it's going to open up some more space to the sideline on the left side. So what you're gonna notice here is the streak is gonna run off every zone and then you're gonna basically throw this corner out with a pass laid down into the outside, as you can see. Super effective against zone coverage. Now that was cover four. I'm gonna show this to you against cover three and then I'll show it to you against cover two and then we'll talk about um, some of the vulnerabilities of this concept. But like I said, if you have slot apprentice or hot or master, which most of you probably do at this point in the year, you can literally create this from anything. All you need is a slot receiver and you just put him on this nice little corner route with a streak and then you have something attacking the flat as you can see right here. Now, like I said in the beginning, you can actually create this concept um, in a multitude of ways. So one of the ways that you can actually create the concept is to do something like this right here. Uh, and what you're going to notice is now putting this player on the corner route. Now, you see therein lies kind of part of the challenge to the sale concept, and specifically this one with the corner route is beating man coverage. Now, this is where I really like this play, Pat's Flood. Uh, what you'll see is if they are in man coverage, this out route is a little bit more effective at actually attacking the man coverage, in my personal opinion. Um, you can also do the same thing out of PA counter go, right? You can run the sale, the basic sale concept. You'll see he's going to do that out route, and you can see that if you have short in or short or uh, mid out elite, it's going to be pretty good against, against man coverage. Now, the other way to attack man coverage, again, is to create space to the sideline, which is why this motion over is so critical to this play. Now, you could put Thomas on an actual, like a basic five-yard out route, and you could snap the ball when he gets to about right there. Obviously, you want to snap a little bit faster, but you're going to notice here that CeeDee Lamb is going to now have 
a significant amount of more space to attack that sideline over there on the left side. Now, another question that you might want to wrestle with is what do we do to the back side of the concept? Well, if you think about it, we're forcing the opponent to have to respect the fact that we can flood their zone um, in a variety of different ways, one of which is you know basically deep and then to the shallow over on that side, right? And you could do this in a variety of ways, but as you can see right here, you know, if they play this coverage, we're going to be able to hit that pretty consistently, especially if you have short and elite. So what they're going to have to basically do is they're going to have to double Mabel or double flat. And the best way to do this is to put a hard flat over there for that short route. We're going to put a cloud flat up there for that corner. Now, obviously, this will still be open because we're not setting zone drops. But if you look, there's some obvious windows in which we can throw the ball. The most obvious is really this quick little drag over the middle of the field. So you're going to see right here, when we put this tight end on this drag route, if we look and we see that the flat route is kind of flowing out there in that little pocket right on right about right there, you see that I can maybe check down to that drag route. Now, another thing that I can do, and this is what makes this play super effective, is let's say that I want to send, you know, five out on the sale concept. Right, I want to send five people out on a route, and then you'll notice that the whole middle of the field is going to be open. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set everything up the exact same. The only difference is we are going to take the running back, and we're going to put him on a wheel route to clear out the flat zones on the right side. So you see here they're going to lurk that tight end route, and you're going to throw that dig route right over here. As you can see, the flat zones are getting pulled away, and then it's going to open up this little pocket in the middle of the field. Now, this kind of makes the case for our third concept we're going to talk about tomorrow, which is how do you actually go about attacking defenses when they start double flatting? Let me give you a quick example of what a double Mabel defense uh, can actually do against something like this. So if I come out in, in a double Mabel look, then what you'll notice here is, you know, we'll just set it up like this. You know, you've got that yellow zone right there as well, and then they're going to be usering in the middle of the field. If you're facing somebody that actually has a pretty decent user, this is still a really, really good defense. So, again, here we have the flat route. We have this um, backside in route, which is really the primary focus of their user. So, you'll see here the double Mabel is going to stop the flood concept, and now the user can put all their energy into the middle of the field, right? Now, what we're going to show you in tomorrow's video is how do you actually start to attack stuff like that, and we're going to insert one of the most valuable concepts in all of Madden for not only attacking the double Mabel, but attacking any kind of zone blitz meta, which we'll be sharing with you, such as DB Fire 2 tomorrow. So make sure that you're subscribed, that way you get access to that video. Also, if you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, we go in a ton of detail about this offense. It's my favorite offense to teach from. Um, you can get the entire ebook by joining the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything. The link is down in the description below.